CV Connection, true career placement for physicians. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Kent Richardson. I'm the president and founder of MyCVConnection.com. At MyCVConnection, we want you to be educated and informed to anything and everything related to job uh, search, physician job search, and physician recruitment. Our consultants are always standing by and willing to answer any questions that you may have. What we're doing here today is we're taking some of the more popular questions that we get and we're going to create a series of video blogs and we hope that this uh, will help you guys out a little bit. We know your time is valuable, so we're going to make these short and sweet and to the point. Um, so today, what we're going to be talking about is a case study of a net income guarantee arrangement. And the net income guarantee arrangement is one of the most misunderstood arrangements around and a lot of people feel that it's really risky. And if you don't know what you're doing, it is risky. But if you do, it might be one of the most secured contracts that you can enter into for you and your career. So let's get in it today. What we've done here is we've kept the math real simple. We're going to do $120,000 salary a year. So it's $10,000 per month. We're going to say our overhead's at 50%, which is $10,000 per month. And we're going to put a three-year forgiveness on this. This forgiveness only comes into play if we have a debt owed at the end of the year. And if we do, I'll explain what this means. If we don't, this never comes into play. Okay? So here we go. We've got the salary column here. The hospital's going to write us a check for $10,000 a month. For 12 months, $120,000 salary. They're going to also pay $10,000 a month in overhead expenditures to keep our clinic running for a 12 month period. Okay. This is the column that means the most in the net income guarantee. And it's the collections. And that's what's going to dictate if there's a debt owed at the end of the year, or if there's going to be profitability to take home as a bonus. This column is the profit of the business. And this is the debt owed column. The first month, the hospital writes us a check of $10,000. They pay $10,000 in overhead. We collect zero. So therefore we owe the hospital so far $20,000. Same thing the second month, we, owe, um, we collect nothing. So we owe $40,000, this 20 and this 20. Okay, and as you can see, this debt owed is gonna, it's gonna grow but then there should be a point that it starts to drop off and you start to knock off that debt. Third month, 10,000, 10,000, but we collect 5,000. So therefore the hospital's really only given us 15,000 to support our practice and our salary. So we add that to the 40, it gives us a, a debt owed of $55,000. We collect nine. So the hospital's really only given us $11,000 to keep our practice going. We add that to the 55, which gives us 66. Here we collect 13, which that means that the hospital's only given us seven. So we add seven to the 66, which is 73. In the sixth month, this is the first month that we actually have a profit of $1,000 because we've collected 21 and the hospital gave us 20. So that 20 comes off of there. This one comes off of the 73 owed and now becomes 72. Okay. The next month we collect 28 right? Which gives us an $8,000 profit. And that means now that our debt owed is 64. Okay. We've got collections of 35, which gives us a profitability of 15. 15 from 64 is now 49,000 owed to the hospital. And as you can see, it's now starting to go down. We collect 42, we're left with a profitability of 22. 22 comes off of the 49, which leaves us 27. The next month we collect 53. Our profitability of the practice is 33. We only owe the hospital 27. So this is what would be considered our break even point, the 10th month. And then here, let me get the green. So that means that we'll have a profitability of $6,000 that month and everything's going to grow from here. We collect 58, that leaves us 38 profitability from the practice, 38 plus 6 is 44. 
65 we collect, that leaves us a profitability of 45. 45 to 44 is now $99,000 in the black. So we are a profit margin. I mean, we have a profitability practice of $99,000. And this means that we're completely free and clear of this contract. Our practice is up and running and stable and continuing to move forward. The three-year forgiveness means nothing to us because we do not have a debt owed. However, let's say we negotiate the contract instead of $120,000 for $240,000 in salary, which would put another $20,000 all up here, which would leave us a debt owed of $28,000, okay? If we had a debt owed of $28,000 at the end of the year, the three-year forgiveness comes into play. What this means is that if it's written yearly, for every year you stay in the community and practice, one-third of the $28,000 owed is forgiven, okay? You stay the second year, two-thirds. The second third is now forgiven, okay? Now, if you happen to enter into this contract and you have a debt owed at the end of the year and you do not want to serve your three-year forgiveness and you want to leave the community, you need to write a check to the hospital for $28,000. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about the pitfalls and we're going to talk about... For physicians problems. seeking opportunities, for employers seeking physicians... Learn more by calling toll-free 866-231-5588. CV Connection, true career placement for physicians.